The Latimer is one of my favorite houses simply because of its uniqueness. One of the unique things about the Latimer house is that it was in the Latimer family all the way up until 1963 when the Historical Society acquired the property and we've been maintaining it ever since then and trying to keep it as original as it did look back in the 1800s and early 1900s. Because it was in the Latimer family for three generations and the last two generations never had any children to leave the house to, a lot of the original belongings are still in that house. Original clothing, original furniture, just small little pieces that remind you of what it was like to live in that time period, in that Victorian era. Most of the houses that you go look at have very few of those old relics left unless they have been owned in the family for generations, which is very rare at this point. A lot of people love the furniture aspect because we have a lot, bunch of beautiful pieces in there. Anything that is not having belonged to the family is period, and it, it did come locally. It did come from the Cape Fear area, so we try to keep everything as close as possible. There's a painting on the second floor that Henry Latimer did, and it was dated 1918, and it's a picture of the dram tree. And most people in Wilmington have heard of the dram tree, but they don't know the story behind it. And I love to tell the story. The story of the Dram Tree is that it's 28 miles from the sea to the Port of Wilmington. And that tree stood out as a two mile marker for sailors. And unfortunately, I believe in the 1940s, it was taken out when they were dredging the river by accident. I actually even bought one of the prints of that picture and I have it hanging in my own home. But it's just a beautiful painting and there's a lot of Henry Latimer's artwork around the house, but that stands out as my absolute favorite just because it adds a unique quality to the Latimers and their connection to Wilmington. The house is not just a museum, it's also the headquarters of the Historical Society of the Lower Cape Fear. And the archives are pretty vast as far as what you want to find. You can come in there and you can find out family history, belonging to families that have lived in the area going as far back as the 1700s. Carol, our archivist, is wonderful and she's always willing to help and readily available. We actually have home tours Monday through Saturday. On Saturdays, we have a walking tour. We have a few volunteers that volunteer their Saturday morning at 10 o'clock to take you all around Wilmington and show you not just the Latimer House, but some of the other places in Wilmington as well. We also have a candlelight tour that happens the first weekend every December. We have the Secret Garden Tour, which is a huge event for us as well in September. The house is always looking for volunteers to docent, volunteers for giving tours or for helping out with some of these events. I myself started out as just a person taking the tour because I was interested in the house and I did and I fell in love with the house. And the people there were so welcoming and they started training me on all the history, everything that I know about the house has come from these wonderful people. With a 163-year-old house, there are always repairs going on, and a lot of our funding comes from the programs that we put on, as well as the tours that we give. So we have a priority list. Recently, we've been repairing some of the plaster work on the outside of the house. A couple of years ago, we had a new roof put on. We actually recently redid one of the rooms in the upstairs section of the house where the governess's room is set up now. Part of the beauty of the house is trying to keep it the same as it always was, trying to keep that historic nature to it.